Thanks so much for sticking around. Sherry Rigby in studio with me. We're talking about October Baby, which is available on DVD and Blu-ray. I highly, highly recommend that you check it out because you're not going to just get acting. Mm -mm. You're getting some deep and personal story here. And mm -hmm. Sherry, you know, you've been sharing your testimony and talking about how um, you kind of happened into this role, mm -hmm. but it was really orchestrated of the Lord. It was mm -hmm. really planned <laughs> by Very Him mm -hmm. that you would play this role. And I want you to tell our viewers uh, what happened as you as you read the script and even that moment that you realized you were in fact reading your story. Okay, absolutely. I was reading, I think the most profound thing that anybody can do is to sit there and read something that parallels your life or that um, in some way shares your story on a, on a paper that was written by somebody that doesn't know. Right. Uh, and as you know, as a believer, I knew that in, at a, when I got to the end of that script, everything that happened that really paralleled my life, I knew the script was for me. And so the preparation started as an actress, and it was really incredible. I got to work with my acting coach, John Kirby, in Hollywood, and he's just this amazing light. And then we go into work mode because I had a short time on screen, and I have to take just as much, I have to take my people on a roller coaster ride as well. Right, in that time, in that frame. time frame. They've got to feel what you are feeling. Absolutely, and they need to know me from the first time they see me to the end and how they're going to relate to me. And so I really went home this after one of the sessions with him and I sat down and, and I was just really emotionally spent from it. And I, I, as a mom, I locked myself in the bathroom, turned on the water, you know, got into the bathtub and I was just crying and you know, I needed my time, and it was really my moment at the well. I always say that. And I just started praying and reaching out and saying, God, I want more. And I hate to even say that. There's a part of me, but, but really my human nature, I wanted more. I thought, I have waited so long. And in that now, what moment, do you mean when you say that? Well, Let me press you on. What, do, what did I, you want more of? I wanted more time on screen. Mm. I wanted more of a story to tell. Mm. I had worked for years for that, and... And that, I think all of us, you know, when we wait for that phone call or we're working towards something, we're waiting on, Yeah. yeah. Know, we're that, waiting. That it moment, that, that moment, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And so I, I'm sitting there going, I want more. And in that moment, I know, and, and I hate to even say that, but it's, it's the truth. And um, in that moment, the Lord called me to confession. Mm. And when, he, when I confessed my sin of abortion, because I knew I'd been forgiven, but I hadn't really specifically confessed that that sin and I confessed it and the floodgates opened and he showed me the beautiful picture of my little girl and then he took me over and showed me this visual of all these a sea of women's faces and in that moment he said it's not about you oh wow it's about them wow Wow. It, it was like the child getting a little spanking. Sure. You know? But, but with the loving hands only God absolutely, possesses. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And, and, and I really still had no idea what that meant. That was 2010 before we ever set foot on to start filming. I go to set foot on to filming and I see Rachel Hendricks. And I, we're in the office scene. And, um, you know, God really showed up for me every moment in this film that I have to get on to screen onto the screen and gave me a gift and I look into those beautiful brown eyes and I got to see the eyes of an angel mm -hmm. that would have been my daughter and and wow. it was it was in that moment that you know there was there was a peace but yet there was such a shame and and then I go in and there's the the next scene of walking in and she had left me a note and as a believer we know we've been forgiven I knew I had been forgiven. I knew the confession. But I look down, and it's written out, I forgive you. And, you know, looking, you think in that moment, looking into those eyes, and then looking down at this note, and you see that. And there's no way to explain it. But the coolest thing was is that the Lord showed up for me in that moment. Yeah. What people see in that moment of yeah. that scene and that move in October Baby, 
that was between me and my Savior. Wow. And he showed up, and, and I just sat with him. I, he cradled me and said, you have been forgiven. Yeah, I saw, the, I saw a clip where you said, when you see me sliding down that door, yep. that isn't acting. Mm -mm. And I got to tell you, Sherry, because there is something powerful that happens mm -hmm. when the camera shows the words, mm -hmm. I forgive you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there's something that happens in your life, whether you've had an abortion or not, Absolutely. But especially if you've judged people who have had abortions. Absolutely. Because there is like this register that says this is a person yep. who needs God's grace Absolutely. and his love Absolutely. and his forgiveness just as much as you do. Absolutely. And it doesn't matter what you've done or where you've been. Absolutely. You know, and so here, I, I want to go back because you have this bathroom moment where mm -hmm. you say, I want more. Uh-huh. Well, when God showed you all those faces, mm -hmm. and in essence... It's like he was saying, I'm going to give you more. Yeah. Not the more that you were expecting. Right. Because as a result of this, yes. um, God has opened some incredible doors for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I don't think that you would have imagined this because there weren't very many people who knew no. that this was your story. Right, right. You right, began right. telling this story. Mm -hmm. And uh, now what's going on oh, with you? <laughs> man, Mickey, this is like a year of unbelievable. Well, just to start off, God has opened an incredible door for me. I am now speaking. Yes. And I remember people go uh, with the distribution coming to me. They said, well, how many speaking engagements do you have? You know, because DVD is coming out. And I think they were expecting a few. And I said, well, I'm on 62 days, 30 <laughs> cities, and 32 events with press, radio. And they went, this isn't speaking. This is a tour. This is a tour. You are on <laughs> tour, Sherry Rigby. Let me just tell you. So now do you still say, I want more? <laughs> I know. I'm like, wait a minute. I want more rest. <laughs> That's right. I hold on to Job 33:25 when God says he will restore their youth and vigor. Oh, I am good. holding strong. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> but he's doing that. He, he also has blessed me. I have a group in my home, a women's ministry in Hollywood that uh, the Lord really opened my heart to a, a little over a year ago called thewomeninmyworld.com. Well, it's .com. They can go on and find us. But it's about ministering to women in Hollywood. I went from 2 to 17 women. Wow. And it's growing women to connect with women. What are we doing in our lives? Who are we in Christ? What's our identity? The mission that we're supposed to be on? How are we glorifying God? Everybody has a testimony. Um, writing a book. You know, they've asked me to tell my whole story because it's pretty gritty. And wow. people are going to get some gritty, gritty, gritty things. Yeah. Um, that's but, but that's, it's amazing, you know, and this is just um, one of the many reasons why we yeah. love the Lord so much because yeah. he takes that grittiness, he oh, applies yeah. grace to it, right? And then Absolutely. you're on tour. I know, I'm <laughs> on tour. And then people are being blessed and being, being ministered to. Incredible. You know? Incredible. I was going to ask you about uh, navigating Hollywood as a believer mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, what that's like and especially mm -hmm. accepting this tour, as right. you call it, because... That, that could really kind of have a negative effect on your Hollywood career because now you've taken a mm -hmm. side and a stance that's not popular in Hollywood, correct? Well, it is correct in some ways. I, I guess my stance has really been that uh, we, we all need the love of our Savior and that we need, to be, we need to be the arms of Christ really in showing that we're not perfect people. And it's really about forgiveness. So, you know, for me in that, my stance has been really about trying to give women an opportunity and men. You know, I'm one of 55 million women. So when you think about the men, and I could tell you stories that you would all literally just sit here and cry, that people have been holding for 40 and 50 yeah. years of their yeah. lives. And um, so, you know, I, uh, my hope is that people will come to the movie and come and when they hear me speak that it's about love and grace it's not about condemnation that's good and that's my hope and my goal and as far as Hollywood goes you know what they said I wasn't 20 years old anyway and I should probably pack it up and go back but you know what <laughs> God has a plan that's right and he can do all things and um, I, you know I, I'm just I, I love Hollywood in fact, I think that the, the one thing that we need to do really as believers is instead of divorcing Hollywood, we need to start praying for Hollywood yeah. and really yeah. praying for the substance that's coming out of it. And uh, I, I'm blessed to be there. I call it my mission field. And so. it is. Mm -hmm. And it is. And I'm thinking about even the ministry you just told me about, your right. outreach to women right. in Hollywood. That's something that's unheard of. You don't mm -hmm. hear a lot of people doing mm -hmm. that because either the culture just overtakes you right. and you join in or right. you so, you know, detach yourself from it that you're ineffective as a believer. Right. Which Absolutely. is to reach out to people mm -hmm. and to influence right where you are. Right. Now, in the same vein, uh, talking about Hollywood and mm -hmm. what could be career suicide, Jasmine Guy. 
uh, right. plays the nurse yes. in October Baby. Mm -hmm. And I remember sitting in the theater mm -hmm. and, you know, my husband sitting next to me and I go, Jasmine, God. <laughs> because it's one of those things where right. this is either gonna like really, you know, right. set you apart because you have, this is what you really believe privately sure, sure or it's not but you were just bold enough to take the role do you know something that we don't know about jasmine guy you know well uh, what i know about jasmine guy is that well first of all she's she's a, a brilliant actress i mean and she's been she's been doing great things for many years in in hollywood but i think jasmine guy truly demonstrates that when you get a script in your hand our ultimate goal whether believers or non-believers or what our stance is, is to tell and be great storytellers. Mm -hmm. And I think Jasmine Guy could look at a script from the objective standpoint and say, this is a great piece of work for me. Yeah. And I love it and I connect with it on a level of whatever that might have been in Jasmine's mind and for her to do that. Uh, you know, Jasmine, again, doesn't have a whole lot of screen time, but it's one of the most powerful roles in the movie. And I think, her brilliance shows, I'm a storyteller, I want to tell good stories. And she did. She, and did. she did. Just brilliantly. I mean, you're just, mm -hmm. and, and even, I'm, I'm thinking even, you know, with your, your scene, mm -hmm. and I guess for you as an actress, it doesn't feel like a lot of time. Right. But it's an eternity for the viewer. Mm -hmm. Because that moment mm -hmm. where you look up mm -hmm. and we know that you know yeah. this is your child. Right. And you have a decision to make, you know, do you, yeah. do you face, you know, and then there's the, you know, I don't want to give too much of the movie away because there's still people who haven't seen it and they need to right. get it on DVD or <laughs> Blu-ray. You need to see October Absolutely. Baby. But the Lord just ministers in all sorts of ways. Now you were sharing with me before we um, went to tape that uh, the Lord has really mm. revealed to you that he's mm. got a plan for you mm -hmm. um, that's far greater yeah. than what you could have imagined yeah. and that he wants to be the center. Yes. And I want you to just kind of elaborate because I think it's going to be a blessing to our viewers. Well, I, I think um, one of the things that we do, and especially as believers, and I really try to talk with all the ladies in my group, is that there are so many times when we are not looking at what God has done in our lives and, and His promises. Mm. But you see, if we look back on the timelines of our life, we can actually timeline and see different things that God's done. And it's very specific biblically as well that God did this in so many of the lives of you know, the different, our, our, the people we see through the Bible. Yes. So what the Lord did for me was he showed me a bullseye and he stuck me and him right in the middle. And he said, this is us and I'm going to show you how this is going to work. Not just with your career, but I'm going to show you the people and the relationships. And I started becoming in this moment of, well, okay, God, you know, it's been a year and yeah, it's grown and it's branching here and there and this looks really cool, but nothing's happening. Mm. I've, I've done the movie now, <laughs> like, oh, what am I doing, you know? Uh -huh. And I went to the study that night, and uh, we were doing the study on King David. And I love how the Lord, he's got to have a great sense of humor. I opened my study book up, and, and I'm just kind of humdrum and having my moment. And I open it up, and there's the bullseye. Wow. And I just thought, you just have to be looking at me going, do I have to tell you? Yeah. You know, do I yeah. what do I have to do? I have to show you a picture. Okay, you're a picture <laughs> girl. I have to show you a picture. And so he does. And, you know, he's shown me that. And, you know, a little girl coming from a very little town, walking through the depths that I've walked through to see where he's taking me now, is only God. Mm -hmm. Is only God. Mm -hmm. And I just praise him that um, that he's been so faithful to me in my times that I may not have been faithful to him. Yeah. 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 You know, and as you're walking through it, I just imagine just even in my own life, there are experiences mm -hmm. that I've had because mm -hmm. we don't have the big picture. Right. That, you know, right. we say, oh, if I could just undo that, if I could have just avoided that season or that phase. Mm -hmm. But then you get to a point and we're constantly moving towards those points, yes. right? Those points keep, every time you think you've gotten to the point, he moves it back. I know, it's like, hello. <laughs> and there's another point, you know, but I'm uh -huh. sure that you wouldn't take nothing for your journey now. No. You know, everything that you've gone through and how the Lord has used it mm -hmm. uh, to advance, to mm -hmm. advance his kingdom. Yep, absolutely. You know, I I've had so many stories shared with me, Miki, that uh, there's not a moment in my life that I can look back and say, if I never did anything again, what that person shared with me has touched my life forever. Oh, wow. And uh, 
in people seeing this film, and I think, I, you know, that's that that I have accomplished that. Absolutely. And God is doing what He wants to do with it. And, you know, honestly, I think in the moment that we completely surrender our lives, that we completely give it over, and you know, we're still kicking and fighting a little here and there, but there's a there's a heart change mm -hmm. to say it's yours. That's when all of a sudden He goes. Okay. Yeah. Now I can use you. Yeah, that's right. That's surrender. Mm -hmm. That point of surrender. Mm -hmm. Sherry, we are quickly running out of time, mm -hmm. but I don't want to let you go mm -hmm. without the opportunity to look straight at that camera. We've got a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. There is a post-abortive woman mm -hmm. watching right now, mm -hmm. and she has never revealed to anyone yeah. that this is her story. Mm -hmm. There's guilt. There's hurt, mm -hmm. there's the fear, the gripping, paralyzing fear of judgment. Mm -hmm. And I want you to just encourage her. I want okay. you to just speak directly to her. Absolutely. If, if you are a woman that is post-abortive, you've gone through something like this, I just want you to know that you don't have to feel ashamed. There are secrets that all of us <clears throat> are carrying, and all you have to do is just reveal it. And really, the person that you go to is your savior and you reveal it to him and he will take it from you. But don't let anybody hold you captive. Share your secret, be released, know that you have a testimony and you can change lives. God uses everyone because we have a fingerprint that says in Psalms 139, you have been created inwardly and outwardly, just as your baby has and the baby that may be in heaven. But you have a moment, a time in your life that is significant let your secret go. Don't be held captive. Share your testimony and know by the blood of the Lamb that you have been saved. It doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Sherry, thank you so much. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for being here mm -hmm. today and sharing thank your you. story because you are just tearing and bulldozing those walls that have thank held you. women captive for so long. The movie is October Baby and it's available on DVD and Blu-ray. You're gonna see a number on your screen right now. You can call and order that. And I highly, highly recommend mm -hmm. that you do. Not only is it gonna be a blessing to you, but you're gonna be able to use this as a tool to minister to other women. And I think that would bring God no greater mm -hmm. joy than to see his kingdom advance. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for watching, Miki. I hope, I hope that you continue to be a living epistle, read of men, mm. bringing glory to God. Mm -hmm. God bless you. You wanna put your life in motion. You say you wanna go somewhere. But you feel you don't have what it takes to, to take you there. If you know like God know you let like Fulfill